we're doing our Saturday morning ritual, which is the crossword in the times, not the cryptic one, the uh, less cerebral one. <laughs> and uh, what was that clue, Fran? What, what was this one across here? That, uh, that one there? What was the, what's the clue? <laughs> the clue is a five-armed creature. Yeah, and what were you going to suggest? <laughs> Octopus. Octopus. <laughs> this is a woman with yeah, but, a scientific degree. Yeah, but no, hang on a minute. You, you haven't got a scientific degree. Because I got, which one's that? I got adenine, which is a com uh, component of uh, DNA. Yeah, well, that's scientific one. You would know that. Yeah, I got verbatim, but I got also starfish, not octopus. Yeah, but I've only had two cups of coffee so far, so <laughs> I'll be all right in a minute. <laughs> Well, it's Saturday morning and we're on Pie Quest. Pike West. Pike West. <laughs> pie Quest. So we'll see if we can get a pie. We're still a little bit late, later than we wanted to be. But, yeah. um, it's because we were crosswording. <laughs> um, lots of people have said about last week's video, why didn't you just hang around 20 minutes and uh, wait for the pies to be done? Well. Firstly, it's just a pie, <laughs> and, and secondly, that would have extended our uh, time we're allowed outside. It's only quite a narrow high street, it's a narrow pavement, so you'd just be sat there loitering, which technically you're not supposed to do, and we had a supermarket shop to do as well. Yeah, so. So we went off and did that, didn't we? You made up for it in the week though by making some uh, mushroom and leek pies, didn't you? I did, and I've had lots of suggestions of what I can be making. And uh, <laughs> if I was a great baker, a, a great baker and a great cook, I'd probably um, do a lot more. But let's see, homity pie seems to be oh, the thing. Oh yeah, homity pie. And also, I like the uh, the American expression they're called pot pies. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, enough talk about pies. <laughs> so it's an absolute gorgeous day, but apparently. Uh, we're going to get winds from the north, aren't we, today, tomorrow? I think it's going to change from something like 22 degrees C today down to about 8 tomorrow. Yeah. That's a massive change. Um, so we'll be stoking the fire again in yeah, the morning, yeah. by the looks of things. And those hills are where we really want to be. As soon as they uh, release us a little bit from these restrictions, I think we're going to have walking boots on. Yeah, we'll be up and, there. And um, start building our walking muscles up. <laughs> so how did you get on? Well, they still didn't have any, but they had some not complete failure. They're frozen. So oh. 20 minutes in the oven and we can have them hot when what we get back they? to the boat. Egg Cheese and onion. Cheese and onion. Yeah, so <laughs> that's the best I can do. Nice loaf of bread and uh, caramel shortcakes. Lovely. Right, to the supermarket. Yeah. What are you doing, Fran? <laughs> I'm battling the nettles. This is um, the wild garlic. These are the flowers. In fact, I'm going to pick some of those because they're also edible. And um, if you make a salad and put them on the salad, they're really lovely. Oh, geez. it just, they're gorgeous it just flowers, makes you aren't hungry. They? But as you can see, I'm picking the leaves carefully, not just swiping and hopefully leaving it for somebody else to pick if they want to. I think it's becoming quite a popular thing this foraging now so we've got to be a little bit careful with it but yeah that'll be supper
Well, we've been two weeks at this mooring spot now and I have to say it's not been bad at all. It's, uh, as you can see, been so peaceful. The only noises I can hear are the birds and the odd passerby on bikes. They've put horses in the field next to us now. They're hiding away somewhere, but they're our only neighbours. And uh, this morning we could hear, or in the evening we hear a bird. We're not quite sure what it was, and we've had a little look in the books and downloaded an app that gives us bird song. And it's a, a short-eared owl um, that we hear sometimes in the evening. I'll see if I can record that for you if we get it later. Our friend the song thrush is still with us most of the day. But it's been lovely. So the boat is moored here. I actually had to cut this grass with the kitchen scissors this week because we're getting ready to paint the gunnels of the boat um, once we've done the roof and the grass was getting really long so all I had was the kitchen scissors. Rich has got his own bike park next to the boat. Um, I don't know if you can see it but in the distance probably can't see from here we can just about see Manchester in the distance but hardly any plane noise or anything and we've actually left our little garden on the towpath now technically you're not supposed to block the towpath but as you can see it's quite wide um, because we're working on the roof it just means that I can just keep my eye on the plants so desperately in need of some bigger pots for the courgettes now don't quite know what I'm going to do with them everything else is coming on really lovely and I need to share something with you this is the latest project and these were just um, salad onions that literally just with the roots on the bottom cut the tops off and used all the greenery these were put in this pot about four days ago and you can see how they're shooting up and I think in about four or five days we're going to be able to cut those as salad onions again and that's cost us nothing um, so that's really brilliant. I'm saving water from the shower or from the washing machine is going into the watering can to water the plants to save a little bit of water. Um, and I think we've got it down to a fine art actually now. It's really, really good. Waiting to see what the news is tomorrow about restrictions, whether or not we're going to be able to move more or not. Um, but we've been pootling up and down for water and it's fine and in fact the lovely boatyard behind us at Bollington Wharf um, does all sorts of stuff and we really need a service so I think we're going to take the opportunity to go back and get a service before we move too far even if they do open up the waterways to more movement but so that's our home at the moment oh just wanted to show you that's our salad leaves that we sowed I don't know, three, four weeks ago. So, everything's good. Got a beer on the go. Dogs are happy. Rich is doing some richy stuff on the boat. Um, and I think I'm just about to sow some more leaves in the egg boxes. So that's our home. Baby clothes, friend? No, not baby clothes. I know it's beautiful pink, but it's actually a dishcloth. <laughs> and this is what lockdown lunacy does for you. I got really, not bored, but I had all this spare cotton yarn. And I thought I'd have a go at um, crocheting a dishcloth because there's a crochet pattern on the back of the yarn. And uh, I thought it was madness to start with, but actually they're really, really effective really absorbent brilliant for washing up with and um, yeah environmentally friendly and dead easy and I haven't crocheted since I was about 
14 so a long while ago but picked the crochet hook up had a look online for a pattern and um yeah just found one here we go so it just happens that they're going to be bright pink because that's what i've got <laughs> but that's fine so yeah innovation i'm uh i'm fully committed to being the dishcloth queen now yeah don't worry folks lockdown will end soon <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a nice jumper, Rich? <laughs> so, uh, finally today we're getting round to putting the undercoat on the roof. We've had days of showery weather, so it's been a bit uncertain. And uh, But today's pretty cool. But uh, I'm determined to get the two coats of undercoat on today. Now it's dragging on. And uh, start preparing the uh, gunnels on the side and repaint the back here. So let's get cracking. Just got to uh, lightly sand over the areas that I've treated with primer. And um, yeah, off we go. Coat. Proper paint that's going on here is a little less yellow than this one. So that'll be nice and it nearly blinded me actually painting that yesterday in the sun. But uh, it's done and uh, good old Fran has been preparing the gunnel again to be painted. So that's uh, top of the list as well. Thanks very much for watching. Just a little short episode today. We've just had some really good news though and uh, following the relaxation of the lockdown rules um, on Monday this week, yesterday they announced that uh, we can actually cruise again. Yes. So you can't um, go through locks at the moment or use any manned facilities which I think actually probably makes quite good sense doesn't it because you're obviously touching things that other people will be touching straight after you. I guess it's going to get fairly busy on the canals. But um, we're fine because we're stuck on this stretch of canal with no locks, no anything to go through that's manned. So we're actually free to go. And already there's been a few boats passed yeah. this morning, aren't there? If, um, um, if you've got a boat in a marina, you can come and visit your boat and take it out for the day, but you're not allowed to spend the night on the boat, <laughs> which I don't understand why. No. I mean, the previous days, notification was that boaters had to stay where they are but people like anglers and canoeists etc could use the system so we watched loads of canoeists go past yeah. yesterday but we weren't we couldn't technically be. allowed to move but. i foolishly made a comment on facebook about it the situation and got shot down in flames so you've no, won't be doing that again leaving <laughs> up to me in future yeah. we'll be all right again now you know who you are <laughs> but uh you know it it I just still think it's crazy and I feel sorry for people that have got their boats in marinas that they can just go yeah. and see it at least I guess it's you can shame. go and check it now and make sure that everything is fine it's not sinking yeah. um, maybe it's because people that are living in the marinas aren't happy with having other people coming and going I don't quite understand it but uh, hopefully now we can get a little bit of cruising in having said that we've just booked in to have a service done at a boatyard nearby I know we always said we were going to do this ourselves and we do do bits and pieces but do you know what it's going to take us all day it's going to take them yeah. an hour <laughs> life's too short <laughs> so we are having we're cheating and having a service on Monday but then after that you know we're not going to be going far still but we can go back to um, Macclesfield that we never got yeah, to yeah we've never actually properly. walked around Macclesfield so we might turn around and just cruise back there and uh, have a look around Macclesfield so yeah but hopefully there'll be some more interesting videos you know a bit more canal work being done and the yep. cruising and fun on the water so we all look forward to that i think i think you're all fed up with watching us on the boat by now yeah. <laughs> doing crosswords <laughs> but uh that's good it's all good news 
Right, thanks again. See you next time. See you next week. Cheers. Bye.